My name is Matt Haggerty. Sam Owen and I made this book, Lumberjackula, which is about Jack, who is a half-vampire, half-lumberjack kid, and he can't decide which of his parents' old schools he wants to go to, um, because what he really wants to do is go to a dance academy. Um, it's about him learning to be true to himself and learning that his family will accept him no matter what he does and love him for being himself. Um, so I'm going to try and read a little bit of this book to you today, um, this graphic novel, and I'm going to try and do some voices. We'll see how it goes. And I might even sing a song at one point. So we start off in Faraway Forest, which is where Jack lives, and he's with his parents. Oh boy, Jack, you're going to learn to be the toughest. Lord, the wood you'll chop. I envy you, kid. I wish I could do it all over again. So, how excited are you, honey pie? We're at Mighty Log. Thrilled. Jacula, what are you covering your ears for? I don't want to get made fun of. There won't be any other vampires there. You can change that, you know. Dad. Chomp, chomp. See you tonight. You don't want us to walk you in? You know, I was kind of a big deal around here. Still hold quite a few records. I'll be fine on my own. I hope. Hey there, pal. I'm Mr. Punston. You must be Jack. You know, you come from a really great lumberjacking family. I'm excited to show you around. Get it? Axe-sided? I can't smile. If I do, they'll see my fangs. Right. Well, my jokes aren't for everyone. Mighty Loggers, I'd like to introduce you all to Jack. Give him a mighty howdy. Howdy, Jack! Um, nice to meet you all. Now, let's give him the royal treatment for his tour. Jack, we were just getting in our morning chops. Show us what you've got. Grab an axe. All right, I guess I'll go for it. I mean, I think I know what to do. Whoa there, pal. I don't think your little training hatchet is gonna do the trick for this log. Why don't you grab that axe? Oh, um, right. <sighs> um, I think it's stuck. <laughs> He's so puny. Well, I guess we'll work our way up to the bigger logs. I think it's okay that you use your hatchet for a bit. Snap. Hey, pal. Why couldn't the evergreen tree get a date? It was too busy pining over one tree. It never really branched out. Don't show your fangs. Don't show fangs. Okay, got a seriously tough audience here. So, um, what's next? Well, Jack, I'm glad you axed. Follow me. Log rolling. Oh, cool. This looks easy. I wouldn't say log rolling is easy, but go ahead, give it a try. Oh, I mean, can, we can just do more tree cutting, or is there like a class where we learn about flannels? Don't be nervous, you'll have a blast. This is going to be a disaster. I can do this. Leap. Then Jack dances around, all awesome. Whoa, look how good he is. You're killing it, Jack. You're doing tremendously. Ha, tremendously. Slip, splagoosh. Hey, look, he's got pointed ears. Is he a vampire? I, I gotta go. Thanks for the tour, Mr. Punston. He is a vampire. I can see his fangs. Wait, Jack, don't leave. Wow, that's so cool that he's a lumberjack and a vampire. I bet he can turn into a bat. I hope he comes back tomorrow. We could totally use him on our log rolling team. I can never go back there. Shove. Thump. Click. All right, now I'm going to a song for y'all. So 
so this song is called What's at Stake? And it's by Vane Nessa. Unless it's spelled differently Cause steaks of meat, they make me happy But wooden ones are very, very scary What's at stake? My heart it may break What's a stake? A wooden savvy thing What's at stake? My heart and my brain. What's at stake? The wood and semi <laughs> Alright, and then Jack continues on into the forest, and we see Frank. That routine was absolutely astounding! Eek! Where'd you come from? Over there, and before there, I was at my school. Before that, I was at my house. Before that, I was actually at my school again because it was the day before. Oh, or do you mean, like, was I born in faraway forest? Yes, I'm from a town a few miles that way called Branchboro. What about you? Are you from Branchboro too? Probably not. I would have noticed such a great dancer in town. Oh, how rude. My name's Plenty. I'm Jack from Hollow Tree. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the compliments on my dancing. You know, you're actually the only person who's ever seen me dance. What about your dance instructor? Instructor? Oh, I'm not a real dancer. I was just blowing off some steam. I've never taken a class or anything. Never taken a class? How did you learn to do all that then? Oh wow, you're a natural! Thanks. You were just born with those moves? That's the coolest. Wow, imagine how good you'd be if you trained. You have to go to Tip Trap Twinkle Toes Dance Academy. <laughs> Did you say Twinkle Toes? It's the best! You get to learn every kind of dance you can think of from the awesomest instructors. I bet you'd love it! What are the students like there? Are they like you? They're like us, dancers. My parents would never let me go to a dance school. What? Why not? They won't say it to me, but I know they each want me to go to their old school. Whichever one I choose, I'll have big shoes to fill. I know what you mean. My parents have big feet too. And there's a picture of her parents who are giants. We'll learn that later. But unless your parents are monsters, I bet they want you to be happy. Well, technically, my dad is a monster. But really, I could never go to Tip Trap Twinkle Toes. It's bad enough that I have to let one of them down by choosing the other school. If I went to your school, I'd be letting both of them down. Well, if you change your mind, Here's a map to the school. You should at least do a trial day or something. Thanks. Maybe I will. See you around, Jack. Well, that's it. Um, the book comes out July uh, 19th, and I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.